Cultural, historical and natural attractions turn a town into a popular tourist destination. Its past and present attract visitors from all over the world who touch on the spirit of past civilizations and at the same time succeed in feeling the rhythm of the present day town. Edirne is one of the best preserved Ottoman towns, crammed with a multitude of architectural and historical attractions. It's famous in history as a border town and gateway to happiness. Having emerged as a center of Thracian civilization, in the second century AD, Adrianopolis was founded by the Roman Emperor Hadrian. In 1361, the town was conquered by the Ottoman Turks and Sultan Murad changed the ancient name of the town to Edirne. Later it became the second capital of the Ottoman Empire. As it conveys its glorious Ottoman past, even now Edirne is considered as a town with Ottoman spirit with its many historic attractions, it is a real open-air museum which attracts a multitude of tourists. They say that there are at least three reasons to visit Edirne. The first is the Selim Mosque. It was built in the reign of Sultan Selim II and its architect was Sinan Hodja. The mosque is a masterpiece of Islamic architecture and is included in the list of UNESCO's World Cultural Heritage. The second reason is the Museum of Health, an impressive complex built in the 15th century by the Ottoman Sultan Bayezid II on the bank of the river Tunja. It was famous in the past for the unorthodox healing methods practiced in the hospital. In 2004, it won the European Museum of the Year Award. The third reason to visit Edirne is the fried liver, part of the culinary culture originating in the Sultan's Palace. In the town, there's an annual festival of brass bands and traditional cooking, which attracts scores of tourists. Edirne even applied to the Guinness Book of Records for the largest frying pan used to prepare the local delicacy. When you visit Edirne, however, you discover more than three reasons to come back here again. A recommended place for a stroll are the three stone bridges spanning the Adan, Maritza and Tunja rivers. They are unique works of Ottoman architecture which embellish the town. In Edirne, you can look around some well-preserved Turkish baths, which not only possess architectural value, but continue to work up to the present. Don't miss visiting Rustem Pasha's caravansary, built by the architect Sinan in 1561. In the past, there were four Bulgarian quarters in the town, and each had its church. Today, there are only two. The Church of Saints Constantine and Elena was built in 1869. Today, the church, with its beautiful garden, is a favorite spot for the many tourists visiting Edirne. The Church of St. George, the Great Martyr, was built in 1880, with the support of the then governor of Edirne, Rauf Pasha, and with the permission of Sultan Hamid II. To feel the traditional atmosphere and smells of the town, 
you must spare time for a walk through Edirne's covered market. Between the colourful stalls, you can shop in the historical atmosphere of the Ottoman Empire. One of the most important centres is the Ali Pasha covered market. From Edirne's arcades, you do well to buy fruit soap, a unique decorative feature for your home. In order to get close to Edirne's traditions, don't miss attending the organized oil wrestling in Kirk Pinar, which has a seven centuries history. The wrestling festival is included in the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. For its many tourists, Edirne and Neseba organize tourist festivals. In the cool shady atmosphere of the Edirne Park, teams from both towns entertain the public with modern and traditional songs and dances. In Niseba, authentic folklore performances were staged by groups from both municipalities. The UNESCO town is famous for its many festivals which every year attract tourists from all over the world. The Niseba municipality is the largest tourist agglomeration on the Bulgarian Black Sea coast. With its beautiful beaches, modern hotel base and its cultural historic heritage, it attracts millions of tourists from all over the world. Niseba is the only Bulgarian town on the UNESCO list, a place where the spirit of times past meets up with the pulse of a modern town. One of the oldest towns in Europe with over 3,000 years of history has provided shelter through different epochs to Thracians, Greeks, Romans, Slavs, Byzantines, Ottomans and Bulgarians. Because of its unique natural resources and well-preserved monuments from different epochs, at the seventh session of the World Heritage Committee in Florence in 1983, Old Niseba was included on the list of monuments of world cultural heritage. You enter the old town through fortress walls which were built many times through the town's many centuries existence and made the peninsula impregnable. In front of the town archaeological museum, you'll find a three-dimensional relief map on which the 16 most important sites are marked. In the archaeological museum, you can view the permanent exhibition Niseba through the centuries, which will transport you thousands of years into the past. In four rooms here, a multitude of archaeological artifacts are displayed, linked to the history of ancient Mesembria and medieval Nesebe. It's no accident they call Nesebe the Bulgarian Ravenna, 
because of its many churches. According to legends, there were more than 40 churches. Now 15 of these are preserved, which are included in a new cultural historic itinerary called Spiritual Path. The medieval Nisseba churches are open to visitors, transformed into artist studios, galleries and concert spaces. On the 15th of August, when the church celebrates the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin, the town has its festival. Tourists, along with town inhabitants, enjoy the unique 3D show projected onto the ancient town walls. Niseba will continue to impress its visitors with its light show in the future too. 3D projection equipment has been installed in the town. It will show off the town's thousand years wealth in an attractive way. The equipment is mounted on Niseba's fortress walls, part of UNESCO's World Heritage List. A video clip will also be projected onto the fortress walls, showing off Niseba and Edirne as attractive tourist destinations. The Niseba and Ederne municipalities are promoting both towns' historical, cultural and tourist treasures in a collaborative project. Experts in historical and cultural conservation discussed the link between history and tourism in Ederne, shared their experience on the conservation of ancient sites, along with the responsibility of being included on UNESCO's list of the world's cultural and natural heritage sites. Historical and cultural treasures help us solve the puzzle of our past. That is why its preservation and popularization is so important today. Through the greater part of the 20th century, tourism and culture were seen as separate aspects of any destination. Today, tourism is integrated into cultural development and supports the preservation of heritage. <laughs>